welcome to the muscle car modeler I'm just showing you an update on one of the ones I've been building this when this kit first came out um, this is the new Revell Boss 302 Mustang and I'm doing it in Calypso Coral this is actually the reason my Torino um, Twister Special got done is I bought this model kit and and this is a car that's always excited me and I've shown you the one that I built kit bashing a couple of the Ravel cars together so when Ravel finally came out with her own version I had to have one actually two I bought two of them and uh, I wanted to do one in Calypso Coral so um, bought the paint started on the body um, was really excited about that so I got the, the body sprayed put the decals on clear coated it and then I did the uh, matte black sections, the semi-gloss black. Now I still have to foil the body and I'll be getting to that here real soon. It's actually one of my next steps. And then I started to detail out the interior. This is the interior I showed you where I changed out the console and uh, showed you updating that and then taking out the roll bar mounts. And I started to do the wood grain and some of the painting. I still got to do uh, the chrome highlights with the Motolo pen. Then I realized it had the wood decals for the door panels and um, so I kind of stopped right there and I'll be probably using those instead of the, the paints I'll put them right on top the decals have the correct Mustang emblem in them and this car actually has the Shelby emblem molded right in there and I wasn't too concerned about it but once I saw it on the decal sheet I gotta do it uh, you know seats are pretty much ready and I started detail painting the dash used the wood grain um, I tend to do a couple at a time so while I was doing um, the interior on one of the the javelin and doing the wood I also did the wood grain on on this one as well at the steering wheel wood grained and then started detailing out the shifter the semi gloss black and the white pattern on the front the wood handle I'm just kinda enjoying this one the air cleaner I had chromed and then I was painting it blue I had a couple of sections of the chrome flaked off uh, masking it so I have to touch those up with the uh, foil I also had the grill chromed um, as well uh, Chrome Tech USA did this for me it's uh, one of his last orders for me um, so these these were chrome th these two parts the air cleaner and this part don't come chrome in the kit and they really don't need to be the air cleaner actually has more chrome the surround here is chrome you can do that with the uh, paint uh, the Motolo pen or bare metal foil because most of this is going to get blacked out but I sent it off and got it chromed and then uh, I've been detailing out the chassis just painted it the semi gloss black and did the steel for the gas tank and some of the steering linkages well, this one's coming along spray painted the exhaust put it together and spray painted it uh, aluminized um, it's a bit shiny I kinda like it this way but this is just personal preference like I like my cars pretty much right off the showroom or over restored in most cases but it's just real real shiny and then I got the engine pretty much together and detailed pretty happy with the way this is coming out but it won't be very long I'll get the body uh, foiled and I'll get um, some of the other highlight details on this I paint uh, the boot for the uh, clutch fork black even though you probably won't see it from the underside of the chassis but I kind of like to detail them out as best I can without with paint um, generally don't do a whole lot of bare metal foil when it comes to these but I, I really enjoy doing it that way But uh, we'll get the bare metal foil on this. I got uh, the whole underside blacked out, the engine compartment blacked out. So it's pretty much ready. So we'll get some more detailed painting, and then I'll show you how this one turns out. But this one's coming along really, really nicely, and it's just one that's been on and off my bench. But like I said, since I had to buy the paint for this one, I turned around and painted this one along with painting the Torino. So I did both of those at the same time. When I paint, I generally do a few of them when I clear coat. 
usually it's three or four bodies at a time. So that's kind of why my videos bounce around a little bit. I've got some that are cleared and ready to go. I've got a couple more that are ready for clear coat, so I'll be getting to those. Um, like my Javelin that you've seen, it and uh, uh, the 64 GTO need to be clear coated. And I also have another one um, that's a larger scale to clear coat. I haven't shown that one on, on video. But just a little update on where I'm going with this one and where I'm at. Uh, it's it's coming along really nicely. Um, again, Ravel kit, really easy to build. And uh, I really enjoy these. They, they look good. They go together really well. But uh, thanks for tuning in and subscribing and checking out what I'm up to. And I will continue to move on along with this one. Thank you.